Hello, folks. Welcome to September. It's back, but it's not September yet. We've got a couple more days of August, but they've started it early. Which means that if you use a tier one sub for one month, a tier one sub for three months, you will save 25%, but the streamer will still get the same proportion that they normally would. And if you decide that you want to use bits, then you can also get a bit bonus. And that is extra bits that go to the streamer. And there are a couple of caveats there. The bonus bits happen from September 12th to September 17th. The gift subs go all month. That is from today, Thursday, August 29th at right now to Tuesday, October 1st. Uh, and then at the end of the month, from September 26th to October 1st, there will be gift subs that will be bonus as well. That's for every five gift subs purchased for a channel. Twitch will add one bonus gift sub of the same type. So five one-month subs will get a bonus one-month sub. Uh, if that's confusing at all, they've really not made it as simple as they could have been. Uh, the promotion does go for the whole month for the save on subs, but the bonus bits and the bonus gift subs are specific weeks within September. Uh, I have a post in my Discord. It is linked and pinned on the Town Hall channel, which is normally where we talk about the behind the scenes stuff on the channel. If you have any questions during the stream, by all means, reach out and let me know uh, or reach out to a mod. And I will, of course, um, get a link and stuff ready for all of that. Uh, if you have any immediate questions, but just Googling sub timber uh, and, and getting the info is, is a good way to do it as well. Uh, we also have a, a bang sub timber um, command in chat, which will get you the information that you need as well. And I would like to say thanks ever so much for the support uh, for everybody that has supported before supported already this week uh, uh usually when the month rolls around there is a big push of support because a lot of times people kind of renew their subs at the beginning of the month all that kind of stuff i truly appreciate it uh between the spawn chunks podcast that i do with pixarus all about minecraft and minecraft news and this streaming channel this is my job and i would not be able to do it without all of you and so i really am super super grateful uh sweet sandy blast jordan dan good to see everybody hanging out and chat doing the normal things. We have Mind Trip Media using 100 bits to kick off the stream as they often do. Mind Trip, thank you ever so much for your ongoing support. We are in the bowels of the iron farm here on the Citadel server. There's an iron golem cooking right there right now. And what we did yesterday was work on the guts. We added the crafter underneath the iron farm. Actually, we can go back this way. Go down here through the, the back alleys, the guts and the bowels. So we started moving some decorative stuff around here. We have a filter here for the iron. That filter leads down to this crafter. So the iron is pulled out and it is put into this crafter. We're going to see it happen right now. I don't know if it's actually going to craft a block. We might not get enough, but you'll see a few iron ingots come into the crafter. And when, when the crafter fills up, it will produce an iron block, which means that our storage is much, much easier to accommodate because it stores uh, a ninth of the capacity previously needed. I also need to come in here and, and redo some redstone. Uh, we have decided that we are going to be using deep slate tile, I think, for our redstone because it looks nice and it means that it's a little bit more in line with the decor of what's happening upstairs. Uh, one thing that I did not do, which we should do, is uh, on the outside chance that we fill up four shulker boxes of iron blocks, which is a possibility. Uh, we should have some sort of overflow. So right now we're at almost a box. This did not happen since yesterday. This has been happening over the several weeks that we've been designing this farm. But once these start to fill up, there's a chance we may want to um, push this over. Now, of course we have the hoppers that will fill up as well. So we have an extra five spaces in each of these in addition to the four shulker boxes. So there's quite a lot of space. However, here at the end, uh, we may want to extend this water by uh, an extra block 
have a sign here and have some sort of um, probably a cactus. Uh, I don't like to do lava stuff, um, but probably a cactus is what we will put there. Maybe I'll put a bit of moss there just to kind of remind myself. So we should probably put something there to catch um, any items that would be overflow in the end. Uh, yesterday, what we were working on is this down here, which was the idea of pulling the poppies out. Now I've turned this off. We've removed the filter, but the idea here is that we want to pull the poppies out and decide which poppies are going to go into compost and which poppies are not. And I feel like we should maybe separate the poppies and the red dye first and then worry about the extra stuff later. So I need to figure out a good way to separate poppies. And I'm wondering if a good way to do that is to simply have the poppies go immediately into a chest. So we'll put a hopper and we'll put the poppies into a chest and then we'll put a comparator on that chest. And only when that chest is uh, at a certain um, capacity, we can then distribute and pull those poppies out evenly. I think that might be the best way to do it. Uh, so I'm going to just clean up my inventory a little bit because I've got more than I need in here right now. We certainly don't need the moss. I think what I'll do is I'll actually, I'll, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to do that, that overflow little bit. Um, do I have sand? I think I use the sand. Yep. Wow, that was scary. Ender chest was reading as empty. That's not cool. That's sandstone. I want sand. I guess I also don't need shaders on. I'm also not sure if I even have a cactus nearby. I guess I could just grow the one downstairs. Do cactus grow with bone meal? I feel like they do. So I'm probably going to need some signs. I would like to use acacia signs. Redstone poppies. At least we've got poppies to test everything with. That's good. All right. So if we are going to put cactus there. Cactus cannot have anything attached to it sideways. So we put a cactus there. We could have this do that. This do that. And all we would need to do is put a sign here. So what should happen is stuff flying over there will, um, if it doesn't get sucked up by this hopper, then it'll go down into what will eventually be a cactus. I just have to go get one of those. 
We do have a cactus farm nearby, so it's not the end of the world. I'm just curious if I can go bone meal the one downstairs. I don't know why this doesn't work the way that I want it to. Okay, uh, so we can quickly grab that. You cannot bone meal cactus. Interesting. All right, well, that's easy enough. We'll just go get one. Yeah, I do find it confusing that um, that Twitch has decided that it's going to have sections of September be different promotions. I mean, thankfully, the sub 25% off thing, that's just a constant the whole month. But the, the bonus bits is only five days. And the, um, the bonus subs are only the last week. The good news is that when they started it early, there's actually five weekends that people can participate in September. So that's good. Cactus farm. Just a few. <laughs> Just a few. Might as well bring a few more. This thing is probably just jammed. Oh, I'm surprised it's not overflowing. I guess it's not loaded all that often. I really miss these early days of doing all the farms and I'm looking forward to creating that sci-fi zone because what I'm going to do is having, uh, having my own farms. Like these are all community farms. And they're nice to pop back and grab stuff when you need, but I think it'll be really cool to have my own set of farms. The, one of the first things I need to do is set up a shulker box farm. That's my big, big need right now. By the way, Sandy, thank you ever so much for um, the trap idea. I don't know if it's going to work in here, um, but it would be a cool idea to do in other places. Sweet. So that should take care of the overflow concerns. keep on finding myself feeling quite claustrophobic back here. I think I'm going to knock this back as well. Dudes, you are in the way, in a big way. That's a bit better. Who? Me? A completionist? I don't know what you're talking about. Never. This is your surprised face, I'm sure. Okay. Let's... I've got some of that. I need probably more deep slate.
should be good. Is that a filter stick? No, it's just a stick. Uh, when I read up on the pathfinding on the wiki, it was amazing to find how far they track a turtle leg in Java. It's about 16 blocks. Sandy says, no, it's 47 by 7 by 47. Holy crap. Uh, try Stan Wilson. Hey, I'm trying to buy a PC and I don't know much. Would a thousand be enough to run Minecraft smoothly without issues? I've got no idea. Sorry, try Stan. I am not that technical. Um, I can tell you that if you look under the, um, under the video, under the Twitch video, you'll see my specs. My specs are listed for this PC and this PC is my gosh, five years old at least. I have upgraded the, the CPU, but the specs are accurate to what I have now. The CPU was the biggest chunk. I want to say that was close to 400 bucks. Um, but if you don't need everything to be fancy, if you just need the bare bones, then if you look at the kind of parts that I have, I mean, I can stream and I can play Minecraft. Now I can't stream and play Minecraft with shaders on reliably. Um, but if you look at my specs and you go from there, it depends on where you are in the world, depending on how much things cost. I don't know what inflation has done to the parts that I have. So, um, you know, follow that design at your own risk. But um, I think you should be able to find what you need. So right here is where we decided we want to have the, um, the poppy filter. And so what I want to do here is I'm going to put that into a chest. I need to go get a chest. And I'm going to see if I can... Basically, the problem is that item filters, when, when you have a trickle one at a time, are challenging. And so what I think we're going to do is we're going to let the chest fill up a little bit. And then once the chest re reaches a full capacity, we will then be able to split the poppies. Uh, so we will be able to figure this out. And the good news is the only thing coming down here is poppy, so we don't really need a filter. So we can do chest. That's not a chest. So originally yesterday I was trying to figure out if we could just start to separate out trickling poppies, and I don't think that's what we need to do. I think we need to get this chest to a specific level. So right now... This will just fill up until a certain amount. So we want this hopper to be locked. And this hopper is going to go into there for now. Uh, how do I want to... And then I have to split it. So then from there... I can do, that's going to be a hopper minecart. Let's just make that, oops. Is that going to work? No, I need to put the hopper minecart between two. So this is probably going to be a double chest. No. How do I do this? That should work. I should be able to put the hopper minecart here. So hopper minecart goes there. And then underneath here we've got splitters. So that'll go left and right. Or at least left and right for now. Because there's no way to lock a hopper minecart, right? Uh, try Stan Wilson. You're welcome. Uh, I hope I was able to at least point you in the right direction. So what we'll do here is a comparator. I'm just trying to think whether I should go left or whether I should go... I should probably just break this wall down. OK, 
Okay. So all poppies into chest. Uh, we could probably go this way. We will have a comparator. And that just has to make sure that this chest gets to like, I don't know, whatever, whatever 32 is. Like a half stack. And I, of course, don't need all this stuff in my inventory. I do find it very challenging these days to do redstone. You just have so much stuff that you carry around. And condense the buckets a bit too. So this needs to lock this hopper. Uh, that's probably going to have to be a repeater. I need to compare the chest, not the hopper. All right, compare the chest. This needs to lock the hopper. So that to there. So that is not enough. So does this need to be a repeater? This chest needs to be locked. This hopper needs to be locked by default. That's the first problem. Okay. Uh, is that going to connect? Yes. Okay, crap. I guess we go the other way. Or I could come straight out and do it that way. That 
that hopper is locked. If I just do, no. That really has to fill up. So I should probably use subtract mode on the comparator. Oh, I'll definitely have to dig down a bit for sure. Yeah. So that will eventually lock or unlock the hopper i just want it to be like i don't know 16 or something so it only has to be like a signal strength of one so if i put another chest here with sixteen in it that subtract mode I think it's counting in a different way. Yeah, it's like a proportion of its contents, right? Yeah, so... But if I'm using a chest, should I not be able to say... Same. You've got 27 squares and 15 levels in the redstone. Right, because of the repeater. So if I twit this torch here. That still doesn't get very far. Uh, you will get a level one out, so you need to register to strengthen the level or it won't reach. Right. So the repeater goes here. So it's locked unless anything goes in and then it unlocks. So that's not quite what I want. Now I have to use this, right? So this is taking anything, turns it into a 15. 
And then this is going to be 15. So maybe what I can do here is use a composter. Or I could use a crafter. No, that doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe just one block in the side chest. Then when you get enough for signal strength two, it should work with the subtract. Does this need to be back a block? Do I need to have a bit of redstone there? Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. And thank you for the redstone help too. Does this tell me what the signal strength is on this? Might have turned that off. I don't know what to look for. I wish that these came with better instructions. One stack and 60 items to get to signal strength two. Okay. I could also use a smaller container, right? Like a dropper. Just need to go get a stack of something that I don't care about. Thanks for checking the wiki, Sandy. I really appreciate it. I normally don't do redstone stuff on stream, but I feel like that's probably... Well, what we should do is learn together here. Let's just take you and put you down here. Take the comparator, add you here. Redstone, signal strength of one and two. And if I put in a stack, then that's more than two. So we'll take out half, half again. Forty, probably forty two. So forty two. That actually makes sense because that's what we have to do with the hopper filters, too, right? Dan, is it 42 or 43? I guess it doesn't really matter because 
42 and 43 won't get us past um past three right comparator So that's subtracting. This hopper is currently locked. So this is giving off a signal strength of one. Oh, you're saying that 42 has to be in here? That didn't work either. I really wish that it was clear how all this stuff worked. Well, this doesn't have to be a chest. That can also just be a dropper. Can you use a crafter instead of a dropper for here? I tried the crafter and it didn't work. Right, that should be a signal strength of two. This is locked. What I want is, I don't know, like signal strength of 16. But that's only a one, right? So then if this goes, if this has got 16 in it, Yeah, like I need to, I need to have the repeater. So this strength, this takes the strength up to full strength. That's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. But I want this to say like every time there's 16 poppies in there, I want it to then unlock that hopper. That's what I'm trying to do. To unlock the hopper, you need one or nothing to the right where the crafter is now, and then more in the chest dropper. So one or nothing. That maybe worked. So there's eight there, 32. So that's too many. I don't want it to be that high of a stack. And it still only trickles at hopper speed. Yeah, that's a pain. So this isn't going to work anyway because it's only going to it's still only going to trickle in one at a time. So just because I have this saved up to 16 doesn't mean it's actually going to do anything because Yeah, that's a pain.
Yeah, this isn't going to work anyway. So I unlocked the hopper, but then that unlocked hopper still only trickles at hopper speed, right? So the problem is that items don't separate unless you put them in like a batch at a time and I can't move stuff a batch at a time. I was looking to build up like 16 poppies in this and then have a minecart distribute it. The only way I can think about doing that is to have nothing underneath this, right? And then have a minecart that's powered once this dropper reaches a certain signal strength. But then I'd have to make sure that that hopper minecart only gets like halfway over here. Now I've just got too much stuff in my inventory. Yeah, no, the whole, the whole theory behind it won't work. Basically, I've got to remove the, oh, I need rails. Where even do I keep rails? Go. I think I had some powered rails in the redstone box too. Don't let me forget this down here, please. Yeah, okay. So these will be higher. So what I need to do is have a minecart here. But I can't have it go all the way under the dropper. It has to stop over those two things. So I have to put something in here like something on that that's not a full block what would be a good thing on that that's not a full block plus i have to have a way of getting the minecart back stone fence yeah but a stone fence I mean, I could just use, it doesn't have to be perfect. I could just use the minecart going over this, right? Like I could just use the minecart back and forth. It doesn't have to stop if I, because if it goes back and forth, like it does over um, a super smelter, then that would work too, right? No, so what I'm what I'm thinking is that there's no way to lock the hopper. What I need to do is have the minecart go underneath this. So this is just going to be powered. Right? On. And then this will be, will receive, or I guess I could do, I could do the redstone here. Uh, 
You got an idea with a hopper minecart or a chess minecart? Can you post it in the Discord? I'm definitely more of a visual visual learner, so that's uh. fill it up with poppies and then let it away when it gets up to a level. Yeah, so that's um oh that's a really good idea, Sandy. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Have this go straight into a minecart. So replace the dropper with this this hopper minecart, right? Like this guy right here. That replaces the dropper. Right? Fill it up with poppies and then let it would okay, it gets to a level. So I could I could read the hopper minecart. And then when it gets to a certain level, it just goes distribution. And it just puts poppies in each one. If there's no way to really control the proportions. But we'd at least be able to have like, I could just line four different hoppers and it could be like poppy, red dye, bone meal, whatever. My idea was um, to... Split split the poppies by having this minecart stuck here, right? I'm curious as to whether this idea will work. It's probably not the most efficient thing. So put that there. When this gets enough stuff in it, it will eventually power that. But let's just use a repeater. Well, we have a repeater. But that's in subtract mode. Right, so that goes back, and then this would just be on. Right, and then eventually that runs out of stuff. And when it runs out of stuff, that turns off, and we are left with 10 and 10. That's not bad, right? Let's try that again. 10 items. Five, four. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there's stuff that's staying in there. That feels like it works. I don't know whether this is really needed. So if I turn this into subtract mode, then this is signal strength here minus one. So we have to get more than 34. That seems like a long wait. Right. So right now this compare this this crafter is just not contributing to anything. But if this even just has one in it, then it launches the minecart. And that's not what I want because that will come in one at a time, and that's not what I want to do. Right, because poppies are only going to come in one at a time. So I need this to be able to build up to at least like eight. As much fun as redstone is, it's time for break, says Sandy. Yeah, that's fair. So I guess the thing is, like, I need to figure out... We know it's 42 for a signal strength of 2. That just seems like a long time. What? Is there anything smaller that's not a hopper? Well, I guess I could put a hopper there.
that's the signal strength of two, I would say. That's one. Twenty four, maybe. Twenty two is not terrible. So twenty two is a signal strength of one. Yeah. All right. I need to take a break and think about this for a brief minute. Uh, folks, if you're new to the channel, I do step away once an hour. It gives me a chance to stretch, reheat my coffee, grab another glass of water. We are trying to increase the viewership in September. And if you would like to help out, there's a tweet at Joel Duggan on Twitter. There is a post at Joel Duggan on Instagram. It's totally free to share that stuff around. Uh, you can also just text a friend and be just like, hey, I'm hanging out with Joel live on stream. He co-hosts the Spawn Chunks. Minecraft is his entire life. Well, not my entire life. It's a very big part of my professional life though, but we've got a lot of streams coming up in September and I would really appreciate the extra eyeballs. So please tell people and I will be back in five or six minutes.
So I think the hopper, I could probably use a crafter as well because the crafter you can control the outputs, but then I feel like the poppies are going to stack at that point. Void presence, hello, welcome in. Justin Tunes, good to see you. Sorry I didn't see you before. Oh, you arrived in a break. <laughs> well, I was great when you arrived because <laughs> I was getting another cup of coffee. Um, so this is 22. That's not bad. I feel like we could probably wait to 22. So that 22 is going to give us a signal strength of one, right? So if we put a signal strength of one there and subtract there, then when I put 20 items in there, nothing will happen. But if I put 24 items in there, then it puts, it doesn't grab all of them, but it does kind of split them. The unfortunate thing there is that the hopper's probably going to, yeah, the hopper minecart's going to slowly fill up. Lunar Sublimity. That's a fun name. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. So I guess the thing here is that I need this to go back and forth more than once. So maybe what needs to happen here is, could I put a repeater there? Or a, would that keep it going longer? No. Yeah, that doesn't distribute very many. That's the problem. So out of the 22 that are going to be in here, it's not going to get rid of all of them. So I need... Hmm. I need that to go back and forth more than once. Yeah, if it goes below 20, it stops the process. Uh, can't you read a signal strength from the hopper minecart? Yes. I can straight read a signal strength from a hopper minecart. You're right. I think I can. So you're saying that take what I'm doing and just... And just change it up a little bit. And then mm, can we not take a single strength from a hopper minecart? I thought we could. Is it through a block? Nope. have the poppies drop in the minecart and have it go around. Yeah. So I thought Yeah, I'm just going to Google something. Does it have to be on a detector rail? I'm so glad that these things stay together now. Aha, detector rail. Yeah, so once it gets 23, it would scoot along. Um, 
and then it would come back to rest. But then again, once it's got less than 23 in it, it would just come back. It would have the same problem, wouldn't it? Because once this has less than 23 in it, it would stop. I mean, let's not think about it. Let's try it. Right? So move that. Put redstone detector rail. I really despise how much stuff is in my inventory right now. <laughs> you just have to ignore the count thing until it's empty. So that has to be there because it won't move unless it's on a solid block. Can make, can make it easy and you can just let some poppy stay in the minecart. Yeah, but eventually over time, I need... I've got the detector, detector rail that's in there. That's not going to send it on its way, right? That's the problem. The detector rail won't actually move it. So yeah, I don't know how we get the minecart going like once it's full that's fine but like how do you get it going my guess is that we have to put it on a slope because i've seen that before I need just to clean up some stuff. So I just need, that just has to be locked until this reaches a certain thing, right? But I don't know how to, because the moment that you put a minecart on this, right, it, it powers itself. Detector flat and then powered rail on the slope. So the detector rail goes there.
How does that work? Like, doesn't this have to be underneath the hopper? All right, I'm not getting any reading. Post in Discord. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't help that there's a delay. I really wish things wouldn't autoplay. Okay, so the... Got it set up right then. I mean, it's not going to be on a hopper. And there's a piston. Yeah, I don't understand how this is going to work because, I mean, like, how does it, I mean, I guess this powered rail has to be powered somehow. But that doesn't make any sense. Is it hitting the hopper? I guess this hopper doesn't have to be there, does it? Or maybe it does. No, I grabbed it. I just don't know how you read the contents of the minecart. Right? Like the autoloaders don't read the minecart, they read the hopper underneath the minecart. Because it's meant to be like a hop it's meant to be a minecart unloader a lot of the time. So like I don't know how you read that minecart. Right? 
right? Like, I don't know how you read that minecart. Because it's not, a, it can't be on a detector rail because it has to be on the powered rail in order for it to be locked in place, right? I mean, the good news is it pulls out of there. But you can't, like, I can't seem to get a, a detector rail doesn't power the minecart forward, you know? The piston should stop it from going. So I need to get the piston powered for starters. So this has to be on by default, which it is not. So why is this getting a signal? I guess it's because of that. Yeah, that just doesn't... Piston should extend it from going until you have enough items. So I just need to unpower that torch. But like... This is reading a signal strength of two with nothing there. So like, what is that compared to reading? Like there's, is it reading the contents that, no? Like where, where is that getting the signals from? Is it reading this? That's what's happening. Okay. Now, is that hopper being locked? No. Yeah, so like, I, I don't understand how you read the hopper or the minecart because it's not on that block. Like I can't read this because it's not on that space. I mean, I see the video. So it's really the piston that, that keeps it. So 
So this has to be powered. And this just has to be So for whatever reason, the powered rail is not powering the detector. So it fills up, but then there's no there's no way to get it to release because I can't read it. That's always powered unless this gives a signal, but how do I get, how do I get a signal out of this? <laughs> Need a mini packs? Yeah, no kidding. I don't know that it would be much help to explain on stream, but like I'm looking at the video that you sent and it's exact, this is exactly what we've got set up. I mean, the hopper's a little bit lower, but like that shouldn't be a thing. Like the hopper being there shouldn't matter. Right? Like technically that's that's what's going on. And that goes in slowly, whereas before It was pulling them in faster. Right, so it works. The problem is that I can't get a signal out of the hopper minecart when the videos say you can. Oh, Sandy has an idea. So this will fill this up, but like I just I just can't get a signal out of it, which I I've seen this on YouTube videos before, so I don't know why it's not working for me. And I understand that the other videos might have like a torch stuff next to it, but I don't want this to fill up to its brim. I just want this to have a certain amount in it, but I just I need to be able to picture on the Discord. but there's no detector rail in the picture on the Discord. Does that work? They hopper into the extension of the piston. Oh, because that keeps the minecart from going up too high. Is that the thing? Mm 
now because that's on the other block, I can read it. Is that the thing? Right, okay. So then we need a signal strength of one, two. And I can't have the piston extended there. That extends the piston, but it also powers the redstone. So now all I need to do is just figure out how to get this piston powered by default. So don't think this will override it though. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. Blocks here. Okay, so now we can unlock the piston. So that worked, I think. 10, 10, 9. Pretty even. And then that won't go again until it gets at least another, if I do 15, 16, it works. What if I do 5? So I don't want it to do go on just one. Like I need it to go on... Right, so that's not that's useless. That doesn't that doesn't work. So I need to somehow extend this, right? No, well, that's not working. So now this is going to need a certain amount. And that it hitting the detector rail 
seems to give it enough of like a cooldown almost. See why Redstoneers do it off camera? I need to just get better at doing this on camera because I think that's probably part of the problem within the community, right? Is that people don't do it live often enough. And it's a little frustrating. I'm a pretty pa um, patient person. So like, I feel like, you know, you can feel like you're kind of on the spot. But let's just go with 32. And that got sucked up. But it only distributed 22. So once it hits 23, it goes. And there's always going to be, say, 13 in there. One more. Oh, it didn't quite have the momentum. I may want to make those all powered rails. If it empties all the way, that's good. I mean, that's pretty even, right? So I may want to give this just like a little extra oomph. Just to make sure it gets all the way back. Yeah, the magic number is 23. Right, so we can say... Well, you know what? Let's... uh. Let's just see. There are no poppies in the hoppers, right? There is nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there. This just needs to get to a signal strength of two, and then it'll turn off the torch, which will then turn off the piston. And all I need to do is go back up here and add the water back in. And then over the next little while, I mean, I don't know if it's going to happen in the next 15 minutes, but... We'll just put the water back and then we'll just see if we can get any poppies. I can, what I can do is I can top up the poppies. I can I can give the poppies a head start. Right? So let's just do what do you think? There's 20. So when that gets to 23, we should see there's 22 in there already. Wow. Okay. So we just need one, one more poppy, which I could do like I could fake it. I'm just curious to see when it's coming from all the way down there. Because they only ever come in one at a time. I think, Sandy, you said it was 5%. There's two more. Okay, distribution. Just went to once. And we've got three, three, and two with 15 left in there. So 15... Back up to 20. We're going to have to do something very similar for the bone meal as well. Because the bone meal has to be white dye and also pink dye. Well, no, sorry. I guess the white dye has got to go from white dye to storage chest or white dye to pink dye. Happens pretty instantaneously. But it still leaves 14 in there. It's almost like I need a, um, like a decay clock.
this is not going to be lossless. We're going to have to have some poppies just kind of going into overflow garbage, right? So that's okay. I almost want to see if I can add in. There's no way to really delay. If I put a repeater there with a delay on it. No, that's not enough. I wonder if I push this back. Because I think I'm going to need four of these. That was too big of a test. <laughs> Be right back, says Sandy. The doggo doesn't have the same break schedule as Joel. Man, imagine if your dog took hourly coffee breaks. Or hourly bathroom breaks. So yeah, having it go over just a little bit extra, that farther away, gives an even distribution. And if I had four hoppers, because it'll be poppies, red dye, and then probably two going to bone meal. I guess the solution here to empty this more efficiently is to have more hoppers, right? Because I could have more... I could have more hoppers going into bone meal. Like I could have three hoppers going to bone meal. And then I could have the other hoppers just going into poppies and red dye. I think. So I guess the next question is, where are we in terms of our space here? Okay, there's the thing. But I feel like this is pretty, pretty good. I feel like I've made a reasonably compact system. So that works, and we just have to wait for the poppies to hit their certain levels. And so what are we looking at here? We're looking at poppies, red dye, nothing needs to change there. Then after that, we need to send a, a number of poppies to pink dye. And in order to do that, we have to turn them into bone meal for white dye. So I think maybe... The solution here is, um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. Let's 
Oh, crap. What was that? That was a weird noise. What block did I just break that made a squish? Sea pickles. Why did sea pickles make a noise? I don't know what I just did. <laughs> So bizarre. Really weird. I don't know what I just broke. No clue. So I guess we can just make an educated guess on... Maybe an extra three hoppers. So that, that, and then one, two, three. And then two rails. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Am I not seeing my hopper minecart? Where'd it go? There it is. Why did that do that? Eight, eight, ten, three, and three. Unless I forgot to empty the hoppers, maybe. Three, 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 and three. With eight left over. Average number of poppies to complete compost is 10. So that's not bad because, so that's nine, right? So then this would just go into a crafter for poppy. No, this would just go into a dropper. This could go into a crafter to make poppies. And then these would just, I could funnel these two into the center and it could go into a, a composter, right? Essentially, this is just gonna go down rather than me messing around. So the tricky part with this is going to be, well, I mean, the good news is here, I could just have the droppers side by side and just power them all simultaneously. Uh, that would be a crafter actually. I might have to go down extra. Uh, 
Uh, we could go the other way. So then this would be comparator, redstone block, redstone, and then repeater. What am I missing here? Oh, redstone there. Uh, Jay Geft, hello, hello. Welcome in. That is not doing things. I just looked this up the other day. Oh. Is that right? There we go. So that doesn't get powered, that's good. So that could get shot into a water stream and this could get shot into a water stream and that stuff I just did should not affect Yeah, that shouldn't affect anything happening here. I don't think I mean, if it ho if it locks the hopper briefly, I don't think it'll be a big deal. Okay, so that could go into probably a water stream at this level, my guess. This uh it's going to be trickier. Thankfully, we have one of these circuits right next door so I can go look it up. I don't think I need a torch for it. No. Scotsman UK, writing with a party of 23. Thanks so much, Scotsman. Really appreciate it. I might uh, have to move this. This might not be the best spot for this. So the crafter is being loaded from the top. We need to compare to the crafter into a repeater. So, yeah, this might not be 
something we can run next door here. This goes into a repeater. Block and then over the top. I don't think this will work. I think we've ha we're going to have to maybe put some space between these two things. Yeah, I can't power the crafter from the top. I'm going to have to power it from maybe below. But it doesn't have to be a big... Like, I, this is just a straight-up simple crafting recipe. It doesn't have to be nine. It just has to... If there's something in it, then I need to just loop the signal back around. So really... I should be able to do that with an observer, right? If I put an observer facing up, nope, up. And then observe another observer. facing that way no facing this way and then that oh that's going to connect Right, so that messes up next door. So I can't use dust here, but I could probably use an observer here. Stop it. Huh. Doesn't read the change in the comparator. Scotsman UK, thanks very much. Uh, pub crawl coming in from SLA. Welcome in, folks. Welcome in, friends. Good to raid and lurk a bit. Was working on the decorative farm I'm using to hide a Ravager recruitment raid farm. Getting very squirrely. Hope the iron farm is coming along well. We took most of the day to figure out this system. Uh, and thank you very much to Sandy in the chat that was helping me out with it. Essentially, the poppies are coming in here. And then once this fills up to 23... Then it distributes them along this hopper line. We're going to have poppies, red dye, and then these three are going to go into uh, a composter. So I should probably put that here, and then there, and then there. Right? Uh, no, that does not work. Uh, these will have to be facing sideways. So I'm going to have to break that, put that there. Right, because you can only send things into a composter from above. So that's what we've been up to. Uh, I really appreciate you bringing over your viewers, Scotsman. Obviously, Scotsman, for folks that don't know, is a member of this community, has a stream of his own very cool builds. And uh, everyone in my chat should go follow Scotsman. There's a little heart in the chat. Please go click that. It's always nice to share viewers and communities and all that good stuff. So I don't need the bow meal. So this... I guess we'd just go hopper into crafter. I don't think I have another crafter. Does not look like it. So how do I get a signal out of this? If I do a repeater, I guess. Why is this getting a signal strength of nothing? That's what I want. Is 
So that works. That's pretty compact. Comparator, repeater, observer, observer, solid block. And then just whenever this thing gets a boop. Oh, hmm. So that might be a problem. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Iron Farm is working. Yes. Uh, for folks who just came in, hold on. Let me just go show you. Uh, and again, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you. Uh, I've probably already spent some time with Scotsman UK on stream and you want to hang out here. You can hear the Iron Farm working. We are playing a little bit of rain, uh, but outside of all this, the typical redstone build back alleyways that you have, this is the collection room. It is clocking along. We were probably about here at the start of the stream. So uh, the iron blocks are coming in along the back here. What's happening is there's the iron golems coming down and getting cooked from the villager area up there. I'll hop into free cam. So we've got a zombie, three villagers, and there's a zombie right there. And so the iron golems drop down this crazy shaft. They get melted in the pot. And then inside, we have a crafter that's turning everything into blocks. So there's there's the crafter that's turning iron ingots into blocks, and it just kind of goes up the chute there. And then where I was when you all came in is just over here, and this is the poppies. And so what happens is... Once this reaches 23 poppies, the minecart runs along and distributes basically evenly, like three, 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 and three. It's left with 16, but then that's fine. Um, so we'll get three poppies into storage, three poppies into red dye, and then we'll take nine poppies and we'll distribute them into bone meal, which will get turned into white dye. And so right now I just, I mean, I could probably solve this by moving this over by one right? Like these hoppers don't have to be right next to each other. I could space them out. Could you put a strong signal into the side of that comparator? So it requires 15 to power or however much it gives you when the slots uh, are disabled and full. Yes. So here I could put a strong signal. You're saying via probably another composter oh no I'd have to have a um, would a torch work that might lock the hopper next door okay I am dying with all these poppies do I have a The junk chest is not organized at all. I think it'll get stuck if more than one poppy lands in the crafter. Yeah. So how do we how do we handle that? Because right now, it doesn't even do the thing I want it to. Why did it stop doing the thing? Oh, because I had to fill in the blocks. Right, so that still does the right recipe. So we just need to have... Something there. Well, that worked. I don't know how many poppies got out there, but 
That went three. Okay, so that doesn't that doesn't lock that hopper. That's good. Um, this probably has to have a redstone dot on it. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so for whatever reason, so this isn't reading just one and I needed to read just one. So I put a comparator And another crafter back here. Nah, see, it's not fast enough. So it fills up and it's not fast enough. So that worked, um, but, oh, sorry, that was loud. Um, that worked, but unfortunately the signal is not fast enough to pump out when there's three coming in here. Right, you get the first one, not the second one. So, I need to, I need to like have it repeat. I guess I could put another time. Oh, thanks, Sandy. You know, I saw the raid uh, time and I wanted to give the, the lovely people from Scotsman a few extra minutes rather than because it was so close to the end of my stream. I thought I would just go for just a little bit longer. Plus, I'd like to try and and sort some of this. Now, the, the good news is like the bone meal thing is working. Right. So we could do another crafter. Did I make more than those? No. Come on. Redstone dropper iron. So the other crafter that I had, I was powering it from the back and this allowed me to do, or feeding it from the back. So this will be feeding from the top. However, if I want this to go up into a water stream, so this is going to be making white dye. And if I put the, cro the crafter facing up, although that might be tricky. Mm 
that's still not working. And that just needs, mm, yeah, that's probably not going to be the best choice for that. Because I'm thinking like this is going to be a water channel, but I think I'm going to need a lot of extra redstone to actually attach to that. And then I can't attach any redstone to that. So it should probably be a situation like this. I'm going to put a chest down here. I don't know if that would affect the water. I don't think stuff would get caught on that. Where'd we go? There we go. And if I change this direction to feed into the side of it, then what we need to do here is the same thing we've done before. Because this is one of those, it needs nine. No, it needs one. So this is the same situation. It just needs to be one. So it would be comparator and then observers. So as soon, and the good news is that really, this is just not going to be able to pump out bone meal very fast. So one piece of bone meal is only ever going to trickle in there at a time, right? So even if I put three poppies, three, yeah, so that's done. That's easy. That's finished right there. That'll do the thing we needed to do. Turn the bone meal into white dye and spit it out. Done and done. So really the only thing left is to sort out how to get that to do that. Because this is coming in faster than the bone meal. The bone meal is going to be slow. This comes in too fast. So I need, I basically need like a repeater, like a, a observer clock, right? So the moment that there's something in that, I need the, I need the redstone to flash. I wonder if that'll work. So it would be a repeater into a sticky piston. I 
again, this could also be a little bit easier to solve if I didn't have everything right next to each other. I think I just need the one. And then we have an observer looking at that, an observer. Is that right? They look into each other, right. And then block there, repeater there. That's not redstone dust. That's getting a signal matter. Oh, I've built that too close. My bad. So much redstone for such little reward, but whatever. Uh, I might need another repeater there too. I think that worked. I love observers. All right, let's go with three because that seems to be what happens at a time. I don't want that going all the time, though. Right? Like, that seems like a lot. So I don't want that. That seems like it would be a bad idea in the spawn chunks, right? So it's more like we need to do like a comparator thing again. Because that's just taking any signal. So what I need is that's giving off a signal strength of eight, right? Did I do that wrong? Can run another reserve chain under the redstone power and it'll still do the comparator thing. Can you run an observer chain under the redstone to power it to do the comparator thing? Uh, I think so. Well, this doesn't need anything here. This was just to power that. So, repeater. But then I've got nothing to, to do a comparator into, right? But you're saying don't power it with a repeater, you're saying power it with observers underneath. Yeah, to power the crafter with observers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Was the piston being kept extended because the observer was looking back at it and powering the piston? Or if it was being pushed upwards, downwards, so that 
face the other resolved. Mm, no, it was it was the fact that this needs to be on a power level of of eight. This was putting out a signal strength, right? If this was not putting out a single strength, signal strength, it would be a, it wouldn't be as problematic. Basically, we get three poppies at a time, and what happens is they do this, and then they don't craft. For whatever reason, it has to be just one. It can't just say this is the only thing you want to craft. I mean, I could do it if I wanted to repeat the process, just if I wanted to have the clock on all the time. But I don't think that's a responsible thing to do on the server. So, if I, again, like problem probably easily solved if I bump all this down but I'm just curious to see if I can figure this out so all the other things are working I didn't even see that minecart go by so what happened there we got white dye we got poppies <laughs> so like that works it's just a matter of now figuring out this red dye section So I can remove that. That's not a big deal. And if I was to compare this to that, oops, with poppies actually do bone meal pretty good. Subtract that. And then repeater. That seems to work. So then now I should just be able to do the observer thing, right? So block there, observer here. The maze in here now. So observer goes that way. Observer goes this way. Comparator on subtract mode and then a repeater because we can't use dust. And so now And darn it. So it does one, but it doesn't keep going. So we've got the comparator situation sorted. We just need this to have, right, it doesn't have an off button. need a clock that works when the signal strength is full yeah so if this is putting out a signal and then I have an observer doing that and just just this needs to go back around it 
If I went, if that goes into that observer, would that actually work? No. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being fantastic. I imagine we'll see a lot of bots and a lot of riffraff in the September event. Uh, but I really appreciate it. So basically, if this goes, that turns off. That's good. Okay. So I just need to get, I just need to get that signal over to the crafter somehow. Just need a comparator on the other side, then it will work. I just need a comparator on the other side of what? Rotate the last observer below the... Oh, so you're saying I don't need to read it there. I need the observer... This needs to face this block. No, oh, why is that con that's connected over there? Oh, I need a repeater back here. There we go. Could I do that in a straight line here? Is Would there be a way to simplify that? I think that does it, right? Again, probably simpler if I didn't have everything next to each other, but I, I feel like I learned a lot today, so that's good. I'm really curious if there's going to get any poppies in there, because I'm now out. Oh. Poppies received. Red dye received. I, I already had a stack in here. That's empty. That's good. And then white dye. <laughs> hey, we did it. That's pretty cool. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could probably start the water back here. Yay, Redstone, live on stream. Hunter Triple Five, thank you for being fantastic and awesome. I appreciate it. Also, hello. Did not see you come in. Feel like sealing this up might be a good idea. And we can obviously um, have some stuff here for this stuff to, to hit. Um, so then we can take it upstairs. Fortunately, this is all a little bit too close for comfort over here. What's likely going to happen is that we are just going to find a spot to bring it down. And this was over here somewhere. So up here, we will likely have to put in filters. How did you get up there? I'm okay. I see. So we will have filters up here, which means that the likely spot for bringing stuff up will be here.
So had I been smart, I could have built this in the other direction. <laughs> yeah, I could have aimed this track. Should have been going that way. Perhaps. Would have been the better decision to make. Rip it up and reverse it. I mean, really, I could probably just um, move things around. So the other thing here is that we've, we have nothing making pink dye. So what's really going to happen here is I'm probably going to send this back around. And we'll take, we'll have to take some of the other dyes. So let's just go down here. What level was I on? 58. Oh crap. I just broke right through that, didn't I? I'm glad I remember the hot, the uh, observer clock. So that is going to be not possible. And that's fine. Is there another spot up there that I could bring the water up? I could bring it up over behind here. Hmm. Yeah, there would work. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably an ice block there. And then a new water stream here. That could work, I think. So it will come up here. And that would give me, yeah, turn the corner, go across the filters and work. Gamer Hero, hello, welcome in. I think that's good. So it'll be this position. Yeah, it's tight. <laughs> Definitely snug. And it messes around with the back here, but I really am not crazy about this all happening back here. I feel like this should be a different control. I don't know why I've got it back here like this. Oh, 
And obviously we'll move the ladder. But that is where the items are going to come up. And they will go up here. And the only thing I have to worry about at the top, I guess, would be any kind of overflow. And that's just going to be destroying items, I guess. So I'll do the same thing. I'll probably put a cactus at the end. But if we end up with shulker boxes full of dye, then I think we're fine. I think we're fine. All right. My brain is toast. I think we've achieved what we set out to achieve. It just needs to be turned into something that looks nice. And we need to make sure that these things shoot them, the items into the um, item stream. Sweet Sandy, I really can't thank you enough for the redstone help. That was, um, it's great to bounce ideas off of you and, and have someone to um, go through things in, in chat with. And thanks for the posts in Discord. Um, I don't know if I would have got why that hopper reader thing was not working until you pointed out the um, the distance, like the, the hover over two blocks sort of deal. But I uh, very much appreciate it. My inventory is a mess. I don't even want to deal with it right now. <laughs> um, I will say goodbye until tomorrow, where we will be coming back and playing some um, Satisfactory, as well as doing a little bit of Lego. So you can expect that tomorrow. Uh, at least I think that's what's going on. Um, but the iron farm is iron farming and we're almost up at a full chest of iron blocks with lots of space to go. Uh, you can be sure to see extra streams from me this month, uh, or like I guess I said at the top, even though it's still August, September has started. And so we'll be doing a lot more, uh, this month than normal. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. Um, Cosmic Dancer, I completely missed the gifted sub to Aldabar. Thank you ever so much. That's very, very kind of you. And uh, we can also um, expect new stuff with Satisfactory because that game launches on September 10th. So I'm going to be tagging Satisfactory as like a second game stream on probably Fridays. And then I will um, be focusing on Minecraft the rest of the time. I'm going to try to throw up some bonus streams on maybe Tuesdays, but we'll see how's, how it goes. Um, you can, of course, follow my... I guess, podcasting stuff at thespawntrunks.com and on YouTube, The Spawn Trunks, very easy to find. And of course, The Citadel Cafe, where Johnny from The Spawn Trunks is going to be joining me next week to talk about Rings of Power, which launches tonight uh, on uh, Prime Video. Se season two of Rings of Power starts tonight. So I will see, hopefully, all of you on the uh, Citadel Cafe podcast as well. I record that live in my Discord, too, for people that might be curious about it. And we record the Spawn Chunks live in the Spawn Chunks Discord. Both of those are accessible through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan or patreon.com slash the Spawn Chunks if you'd like to support that show as well. Truly appreciate all of the support. Uh, again, Sandy, thank you for the lovely redstone help and the modding today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.